English Intensive Program 011 Reading A Trip to London On a first trip to London, the major sights are a must. The changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace and on horse guards parade are free displays of colorful royal pageantry. In August and September, Buckingham Palace itself is open to visitors. Take a look at the Houses of Parliament and the famous clock tower that houses Big Ben. Other compulsory sites include the Tower of London, the National Gallery, the British Museum, Madame Tussauds, etc. It is very exciting to have a panoramic sight of the city. Without any doubt, one of the best ways to catch some of the most wonderful London sights is via one of its most popular tourist attractions, the London Eye. It is a giant ferris wheel situated on the banks of the River Thames in London, England. It is the tallest ferris wheel in Europe and the most popular paid tourist attraction in the United Kingdom, visited by over 3.5 million people annually. It was inaugurated in 1999, costing 70 million sterling pounds. Taking a trip in this huge wheel will provide you with a magical and entertaining way to experience London. With wind in your hair or snow falling at your feet, the floor shaking and even a sense of smell, your new perspective on the city will be truly memorable. Big Ben is probably one of the best known landmarks in London. It is the clock tower, or to be more particular, the 14 ton bell in the clock tower of the Houses of Parliament and was named after Sir Benjamin Hall. The clock tower was built around 1859 and is 96.3 meters high. The clock itself is the largest in Britain. The hour hand is 2.7 meters, that is 9 feet long, and the minute hand is 4.26 meters, that is 14 feet long. The clock is very reliable and accurate, and has rarely stopped. During the Second World War, the House of Commons was destroyed by the bombings, but the clock tower was spared.